G'day, this is BLXZ and welcome back to Nemoria. Now at the end of the last episode, we had some battle music playing. I'm unsure exactly where those enemies are, so let's start running time forward just a little bit and see if we can find them. So it's still night time, so I won't be able to see them out there, but they may come forward and attack. Ah, uh, there they are. Okay, it's more tunnelers again. Uh, I don't know if the tunnelers are bugged or not. Because there is quite clearly a way into my fort. Quite clearly, it's go straight over here and in. So I'm unsure exactly why I'm getting so many tunnels. But, there we have it. So what we're going to need to do is... Let's create another little guard post over here somewhere. Um, guard area. <clears throat> okay, and let's send the false spoons out here. So we have our three armored armored gnomes. Now, hopefully, they should be able to take on the enemy. So what do we got here? We have a hammer and a shield, a sword and a shield, and two shields. And they are fully armoured, finally. So hopefully, this will make a little bit of a difference. Hmm, how long till daylight? A couple of hours. Let's create another guard area over here and bring them a bit closer. You can probably hear my cat. Okay, we have a, a goblin has finally been spotted. Now, I don't know how many there are. It's probably not, not a good idea going out in the dark like this. But if we can pull a couple of them off... No, we've pulled the whole lot. Let's just double check to make sure everyone is doing the right thing. Warriors are... Yep, performing attack orders. The warriors... Captain is... Don't maintain distance anymore. I'm a very vocal cat. You guys could probably pick that up quite clearly. Okay, looks like we just need to dive in and hope for the best. Okay, that's a lot of goblins. How many have we got here? Let's have a quick look. We have one, two, three, four, five. It appear to be six goblins versus three gnomes. That's uh a little bit of a tr hmm. Seem to be doing reasonably well. So far, none of our people have any issues going on here. Let's see what happens anyway. So one goblin down, another goblin has come into the fray. Let's have a look how this is going now. Goblins are being knocked down. That's pretty much a good sign. Do Trazzle? Oh no, Mr. T himself has been knocked down. Uh, so smashed him in the leg, in the armor, and he fell over. He lost his footing. Uh, although Du Trazzle has smashed a goblin in the neck with a shield. The guy's a tank. Absolute tank. Okay, goblin, another goblin is dead. How's this goblin fighter going? He's currently in good health. He has two axes, dual wielding axes, and he's pretty powerful. I mean, he's not particularly strong, but compared to what we faced, he's holding up. Trazzle is going to town. Sher is catching up and has an injured left foot and fallen over, but again, the armor is saving us. We're not actually... Um, Losing our soldiers as quickly as we were before. And Tinkenny is in good health. And Tinkenny killed a Monta lizard. I don't recall that happening. It's interesting. Tinkenny finally has a kill, but not a goblin kill. So hopefully. What is Tinkenny wearing? Oh, it's sure wearing. Ah, okay. One of our boots has been broken. That's unfortunate. 
is sheer bleeding. No, but the foot has been the arm has been destroyed and the foot has been damaged. Let's have a look at Tin Kenny is still alive and your equipment is intact. And your trazzle is going well with fully intact equipment. Yeah, so hammers are not the best weapons against goblins. Uh, cutting weapons do a lot more damage to them. But the hammers will help to get through any armor that they're wearing. And then let the swords go to work. And the dual shields are a pretty crappy weapon. Pretty overall. But we'll help the train shield skill right up. And hopefully allow them to really equip the, the big shield when I eventually get enough copper for all that. Uh, what's Shur doing? Yeah, Shur's really starting to get killed now, which is a bit unfortunate because our dual shield wielder. I mean, shield skill's going up, that's good to know. But, trying to escape. It's another goblin down. A yak is born. And... It's a pretty, uh, pretty slow fight overall. Speed it up a little bit and see what happens. Okay, Dutrazel is... Yeah, it looks like his armor has been destroyed. Things are not looking very good at the moment. They're actually uh, they're wearing us down. Another goblin down. Another goblin down. So the goblins are finally collapsing and dying here. But Tin Kenny has killed two goblins finally. Welcome. Despite being our our best fighting gnome, you've not actually killed anyone before, Tin Kenny. Okay. Let's just take them off the guard station and send them back. And with that, I am going to shoot back into high speed mode as I start going prospecting.
ourselves a merchant and I have been thinking that we may be able to get some emus here. Uh, alpacas may be useful as well, but for the time being the emus for food and to start using up the loads of extra seeds we have might be a good start. So what I may well do is sell it, well, what I'm definitely going to do is sell off all these poor tables and chairs that I've queued up. Uh, but I may well sell off all of them as well just because it would be good to hmm, good to offload some stuff. I still haven't processed my salt or any of my gems which I'm going to have to get on to doing sometime soon. Um, I haven't really got a huge amount of saleable crop just yet. So we'll have to figure out what I can do. May as well get rid of the poor loaf of bread. I can make more. Hmm, not a huge lot I can really sell that I don't want to have later. I'm definitely going to have to get a, uh, a gnome onto a dedicated export trade good exporting. So what I may well do is just skip this particular trading round and come back to it later. Yeah, it doesn't really appear to be anything I can sell. So what I will do is... 26. Let's just grab and if what it's worth we'll grab one tin ore and they can keep the extra six themselves. I'm feeling generous today. Alrighty, so I'm gonna have to set up a dedicated gnome of some sort to making trade goods here. Probably stone ones because I quite have quite a lot of stone available. Although getting my tailor to continue producing lace would be a good thing if he's doing that when he's not making any padding because I remember that sold for about 20 per per thing so we'll have to think about that anyway off we go With this, our great hall is gradually taking shape. So it looks like we'll have different eating areas. I plan on doing a little bit of something else, maybe, once I get some flags and some fabric going and get my dye and salt up. But for the time being, I think this will do very nicely and it's a definite upgrade from our previous great hall. Uh, I could probably do with a few more touch-ups. I'm still exactly unsure how I'm going to be doing this, but I'm just adding bits on as they come to me. But for the time being, I've been BLX Ed. This has been No Moria. Make sure to join me next time and drop a like and subscribe if you haven't done that already. Take care.